Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Daniel Scene One and welcome back to yet another tutorial of the AI series. Um a lot of people have been curious about creating AI, you know, which can obviously damage players and all that stuff. And today we're gonna be taking a look at that. So we are going to start this off um by creating a basic state system. Um here I have a basic showcase for you. So this is what I have so far. This is a very basic system, this is just patrolling. So if I switch to my my scene here, uh, you can see the AI patrols uh, the waypoints. So it goes to the waypoints one by one, uh, all of them basically. And you know it goes to this one. It's gonna go to that one. So if I just like fast forward it, it goes there, and then it moves on to the next waypoint, uh, which I just okay there we go. And then it just continues, carries on in this sort of circle, right? Um, and that's basically it. Other than that, we have some other things, uh, which is if you follow it, you can follow the player move it away you can see it cannot see the player uh, but it tries to look for it and once it finds the player shoots it and once it runs out of bullets it is going to reload you can see the states here are changing um, we are here we're, we're in the follow state then we go to the attack state and now it's reloading you saw that and now it's trying to shoot uh, feel free to check out my patreon account uh, donate me there that would greatly help me I would really appreciate that uh, and also my Fiverr account if you got any work for me so, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? This is where we left off back in the video where we had a follow AI and basically all it did was follow our player using the nav mesh that we generated. Uh, and today what we're going to do is we are going to basically use a script, edit it. Let's open up the script, right click, edit. Uh, and let's start by creating some basic states. Now, we're not going to use an actual state machine system. We're just using a system which, you know, allows us to visualize things better. So we're going to start off by creating some variables here. So we're going to create a variable called public states. And we're going to call this, um, this is essentially public enum state, sorry. And this is essentially going to have a couple of states. We have patrol, follow, and attack. Uh, this video will, we will only be covering the patrol state. So yeah. Uh, and then we are actually going to use the state. So we're going to say states front state equals. Uh, it's going to be default. It's going to be default patrol. Um, and now that we're done with that, we are going to essentially remove this code. So let's go ahead and create a new variable, new, new method here called update states. Uh, and we're essentially just going to call this method here. Uh, we don't really care about this right now, so we're just going. Um, and actually, let's keep this code. And we have a bunch of states here, and let's create a switch. And if you tab, press the the tab button twice, you can just do this. You can replace this by current state. Press enter twice, and there we go. Uh, this is everything for you. We can remove the default here. So we have a bunch of states here, patrol, follow, and attack. And we are essentially just going to create a bunch of methods for that. So we're going to say private void patrol uh, private void follow there we go and private void attack so three methods for three states uh, and we are essentially just going to play these here so this sort of keeps things more um, managed and everything uh, another better system I would recommend is checking out a state machine based system right oh okay so um, in the patrol, we are basically going to have a bunch of waypoints, which we are going to follow. Uh, the enemy is going to go through all the waypoints. Public, transform, waypoints, and then we can have uh, a private variable here. Current waypoint. And basically, all it's going to do is, you know, this is our list of waypoints, uh, more like an array of waypoints, and this is the current waypoint we are following. And we're just going to go, we're just going to go here and we're going to say, hey, um, we're actually going to create a new method for this. It's going to be a private pool has reached. It means, hey, you know, have you reached the, the current waypoint? And it's just going to return agent dot path pending. So if, you know, if you have reached the path, so basically we're in the process of completing it, but we haven't completed it yet. And agent dot uh, remaining distance is less than equals to agent dot stopping. Oh, sorry, agent dot stopping distance. Ouch. <laughs> and that's about it. So 
agent dot has path. And if we have a path, we stop pending anymore, and we have reached the destination point. Uh, that means we have reached it. Has to reach is going to return true. And what we're going to do here is we're basically going to cycle between the waypoints. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, hey, if agent dot destination is not equals to um, waypoints, uh, and then we have current waypoint dot position. So if our current destination is not uh, the current waypoints position, we're just going to say agent of destination is equals to waypoints waypoint dot position. If you're not already following the waypoints, then follow the waypoints. And here we're just going to say if has reached. So if we finally reach the waypoint, so we had a path. Okay, well let's move on to the next waypoint. So current waypoint is equals to um, current waypoint plus one. Put this in bracket. Uh, modulus uh, the waypoints that length. So basically, what we're doing is we're adding to the waypoints. Uh, we get the length of it, and if we reach the end of the waypoints, then move move to the start again. Uh, and all of that, we're just doing that in one line, more or less. You can learn more how modulus works. Okay, sorry, I forgot to uh, basically remove this. Let's just remove this. So we can, I'm just going to put this in the uh, the follow. Go back to our Unity here, and let's see what we have here. So back in Unity, I'm just going to create uh, an empty game object. I'm going to reset its position and name it a waypoints. And then we're going to create more empty game objects inside of it. Uh, and let's just place them randomly. So this is going to be uh, here. Let's rename this waypoint. It's going to be here. It's going to be here. And it's going to be here. You can select all of these by shift clicking them and actually changing uh, the icon to display their names in the scene view. What we'll do, we're going to go to the AI here. And we want to drag and drop the waypoints onto this. You can do this one by one, uh, or I just sometimes lock the window and I just like shift click them, drag them onto this. And voila, that's about it. You can unlock the window. And yeah, there we have all the waypoints. So we're just going to press the play button and you can see uh, it's following the first waypoint, very first waypoint on the list, which is waypoint zero. Uh, once it's done with that, it moves on to the second waypoint. Um, and so on and so forth. And it's basically going to just constantly repeat this as long as it is in the current state called natural. If you change the state to follow, it is going to follow the player. So you see, it's not following the player. Change it back to patrol, it ignores the player, and it tries to follow waypoints. Uh, very simple, very, very nice. Uh, that's all for today. Um, in the next video, we can cover some basic um, player attacking. So we can reuse the weapon that we have here. Um, and we can also have a basic system, so if the player is more or less in the enemy's sight, so if the enemy can more or less see it, then it is going to shoot at the player. <clears throat> it's going to look towards it, and it's going to shoot. But for now, that's all we have. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to check out my Fiverr, uh, my Patreon account. Um, it would greatly help me. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, see you later. hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, catch you in the next one.